Hello everyone and welcome to the show. My name is Frank Sejas and joining me is another member of Make California Great Again, Miss Ingrid Mueller, who is also representing the Women's Coalition and Mexican Coalition. Now, could you start off by you telling me about the Women's Coalition? Yes, um, I am the Women's Coalition for Make California Great Again. And uh, what it is is that um, I'm, I've been getting members, uh, women, to come into the Women's Coalition um, because the Women's Coalition has been growing a lot for, for President Trump. And uh, we're here to, to represent women for, for uh, President Trump because there's been a lot of uh, backlash saying that there's not women for him and that the, the women do not like him. And that's not true. There's millions of women that like President Trump and I'm the representative for Make California Great Again as, uh, as, as the coalition leader for women. And now, obviously, then this coalition is in full support of the Trump administration. Yes. Your sentiment is, we're women, we're proud of uh, of this, and we, we want to go for uh, Make California Great Again, which is completely a Republican um, party. Or, yes. You know, we're trying to push for that. Yes, the reason is, is because we, this, this organiz organization has um, coalitions from all over the world. And uh, to to show uh, America that there is peop uh, uh, people from every nation that that uh, is for President Trump, and um, I'm for the women. And so this is a very important coalition because um, there's a lot of men for Trump, and so there's they the media has really talked about that uh, women there's not women for him, and there is. And so I'm just here to recruit uh, women. Um, and talk to, to women about uh, Trump and what he's really about, that he doesn't hate women, that he doesn't dislike women, that he treats women very well. He's actually a true, a, a true gentleman. I've, I've met him before. I've met him twice. I've been on the world stage with President Trump. Um, I was invited at the Las Vegas rally a week before the election. I came on stage and I made a speech on immigration. Okay. And he liked it. <laughs> and obviously, so you're... Yeah, and you're able to say this because your experience with him obviously was a positive one and mm -hmm. we know there was a lot of backlash there was a lot of talk about uh, you know it being on the opposite side mm -hmm. but your experience is different and obviously the women in this coalition feel the same support and they oh, support him yeah they and support him because when I when I was up on stage as you know when you meet somebody you can get a good vibration or a negative uh, positive or negative he's a very sensitive man I could see he's a very he's a, has a lot of class He's a very elegant man, and he's funny. I went to three rallies. He's funnier than heck, and uh, he's very precise. He gives you a lot of information, and he's like one of us. He just, he's hes totally for freedom of speech. He's not hes not polit politically correct, and nor am I, and that's one of the things why I like President Trump. Yeah, and it's, it's, you know, it's, it's good to hear this because obviously a lot of the opinion out there is, is completely different, so mm -hmm. there are people that would completely challenge that. Yeah. Now, going on to the Mexican coalition, mm -hmm. obviously a representation of Mexicans that are in support, mm -hmm. which this is controversial because um, you hear a lot, especially here in California, a lot of people that are not for that, not for the wall. Separation of families, I mean, you know, you see all these videos, so what can you tell us to try to make someone that maybe is a, a Democrat? kind of see the other side mm -hmm. and, and especially someone that might be Mexican and, and, and maybe be like okay no let's go on to this uh, the red state yeah. uh, you know, let's push this well let me tell you something my mother um, came from Mexico legally with her family and they came the right way you have to come to America legally you can't have illegal aliens coming in here taking American jobs having fake papers having fake social security and why do you think they work? Because they have fake papers. That is completely, it's, it's a crime. Anybody who comes here illegally to America has committed a crime. And I'm very proud, I'm very proud to say that my family came here legally the right way. And President Trump is very tough on immigration. And being Mexican myself, when I met President Trump, I forgot to say I spoke in front of 15,000 people when I spoke about immigration. 
and uh, he's he's right. Th this is not something that just came up. This has been the laws for 250 years. You got to come here legally. Back in the days, you had to be sponsored to come to America. It was even tougher back, like in the 40s and the 50s. And of course, 250 years ago, people came here because those were the settlers, and they wanted people to come here because there was nobody here. But now we're in 2018, and uh, um, the media talks about, oh, how terrible it is to put people in, in a fence. Well, Obama did that in 2014. You could look it up. And President Trump, he's tough. He's trying to show Mexico and Latin America, you have to come here legally. If you come in here with your children or without your children, you're going to be put in, 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 in a fenced area until you are, until you get deported or whatever they're So what you're do. saying is definitely you stand, this coalition stands for doing things on a legal matter, it's not saying we're stopping Mexicans from coming. Let's just do this legally. Now, however, obviously there's not a support necessarily for saying that it's okay to separate families per se. Okay, let me tell you something about that. That's a very interesting point, sorry. Okay, he's not separating families. If people decide to come here and uh, le illegally, already committi committing a crime, okay, and they come with their children, and they're doing that thinking that that uh, President Trump and and the White House is dumb to think, oh, poor children, oh, well, let's just all let them in. No, he has to be tough and he has to be strict. He has to, if he's, if they're going to bring children, he's going to separate them, because that's what Obama did the same thing. He did bring them back, but they even, uh, people from Mexico and, and Latin America brought, brought children on their own. And they think, oh, well, we're going to just take care of them? No, you can't do that. That's right. against the law, and I am against that, and people have to come here legally, period. Okay, and there's obviously a lot of valid points, and I think a lot of people, no matter what area or what your thoughts are, we always have to be open-minded and we have to look at those things. And mm -hmm. so, you know, the coalition obviously has a lot of information that people can find and dis can disagree, agree with. Mm -hmm. And in order to tune in and kind of follow that, where can people go to see these? There's well, a website, Facebook yeah. page, if yes, you could give that yes. to us. Well, um, I have the Mexican Coalition, Make California Great Again. They could follow me there, follow us, because this is a group organization. And uh, there's also, I'm Sapphire Mueller on Facebook that I show, um, that's my middle name, I show a lot of uh, videos and I've, I've attended a lot of rallies and stuff like that. And so you could follow me there and you could see what we're doing, all the events we go to. And um, I'm a Latina for Trump. And um, Definitely, you guys can follow on Facebook and those websites that she mentioned. Uh, again, thank you very much, Ingrid well, Mueller, thank you very for being much. with us it's, today. It's, it's been you. a pleasure to meet you, and Thanks. it's wonderful that you're a Latino guy, just uh, Latinas, uh, yeah. Latinos. Yeah. For well, thank you, and for those of you tuning in, we want to thank you for tuning in this morning.